Yo, you just got your hands on a Clockwork Pi Pico Calc. This thing is an awesome little portable computer inspired by that classic home computer vibe and powered by one of my favorite IoT devices, a Raspberry Pi Pico. You can even swap in modules like a Pico W or Pico 2W to get Wi-Fi. But right out of the box, there are a couple of things you should do right away to avoid some common and kind of heartbreaking mistakes. One of the biggest issues I see people run into isn't even the software, it's the hardware. Specifically, the screen getting knocked out of place or worse, cracked when you're putting it together. Then there's the firmware for the keyboard and the main chip, which sometimes ships on older versions with a few bugs. The good news is all of this is super easy to fix. Well, I'm Jay Blank, and today we're going to do three simple things. We're going to physically protect the hardware from its most common points of failure. We'll get the keyboard firmware updated to make it more reliable. And finally, we're installing a custom OS that really opens up what this little machine can do. By the end of this, your PicoCalc will be way more powerful and you won't have to worry about accidentally breaking it. Let's jump in. Before we start, let's talk about what you'll need. First, you'll obviously need your PicoCalc. Second, you need the hex key that came with the kit. Third, you need a computer. Now, it doesn't matter if it's Windows, Mac, or Linux, they all work. Fourth, you'll need two different USB cables, and this is a detail that trips people up. You need a USB-C data cable and a separate micro USB data cable. Now, make sure they are both for data, not just charging cables. The PicoCalc uses two different ports for two different processors, so you'll need both to do these updates. And finally, a couple of free software downloads. The first is the STM32 Cube Programmer from ST Microelectronics. The second is the custom firmware we'll be installing last called PicoWare. I'll have links for everything in the description below, but just follow along for now. All right, first things first, let's protect that screen. The most common way a new PicoCalc breaks is a cracked LCD. It happens because when you're closing the case, the screen, which just sits in a little groove, can shift. Now, if you snap the case shut while it's misaligned, you create a pressure point and crack. Your kit is basically ruined. Now, this is a pretty common problem, but luckily there's a simple permanent fix called the tape trick. Now, if your Pico Calc is already put together, power it off, turn it to the back, and use the hex key that came with it to take out the six screws on the back. And now carefully lift the back panel off. Now that the back is off, you'll see the main board. From here, remove the batteries. Then you'll need to gently unplug the screen's ribbon cable. Now with your fingernail, you wanna gently lift up the black locking tab that holds the screen ribbon in place. Then gently lift up the main board and set it to the side. You're now looking at the inside of the front shell, and this is the important part. Grab a small piece of electrical tape, about an inch or two is fine. We're going to use this to make a little seat belt for the screen. Place a strip vertically along the mid left edge to hold the screen in place, and then do the same thing for the mid right edge. All you need is enough tape to keep it from wiggling around. This simple fix gives you total peace of mind. Now you can put the main board back in and carefully slide the ribbon cable back to its connector and flip the lock down. And just like that, the screen is now safe from its biggest weakness. 
Don't put the back cover on yet though. While we got it open, it's a perfect time for our next step. With the screen secure, the next thing we'll do is update the keyboard's firmware. The keyboard doesn't run on the main Raspberry Pi Pico. It actually has its own little SCM32 chip that manages all the keys, the backlight, and even battery monitoring. So why should you care? A lot of these devices ship with older firmware and the update fixes a pretty big bug with low battery detection that can make your PicoCalc shut down out of nowhere. It also adds new features for custom firmwares to use like programmatic control over the keyboard backlight and honestly, there's no simple way to check which version you have without doing most of this anyway, so it's best to just flash the latest stable version. For this, you'll need the USB-C data cable and the STM32 Cube programmer software you downloaded. I'm using the BIOS firmware version 1.4 for this, but you can always find the latest release on the official Clockwork Pi GitHub which I'll link for you. And since the case is already open, we can dive right in. On the main board, look for a tiny set of dip switches labeled SW701 right below the SD card slot. Now with a small tool or just your fingernail, flip the first switch to the on position. This puts the keyboard controller into a special programming mode. Now we're going to plug the PicoCalc into a computer using the USB-C cable and the USB-C port. And then we need to power the PicoCalc on. Now open up the STM32 Cube programmer software. On the right side, change the connection type to UART. Just below that, select the port, which should show up as a USB serial port and then click the connect button next head over to open file and find the keyboard firmware you just downloaded and select it and then click open finally just click the blue download button now this whole thing only takes a few seconds and you'll see a progress bar and then a downloaded complete message Once that's done, click OK and then click Disconnect. And now unplug the USB-C cable and then flip that dip switch back to off. Now if you forget to do this, the keyboard won't work right. And now we can finally put the case back on. So screw it all back together, but don't over tighten the screws. Your keyboard is now running on much better firmware and you've avoided another common problem. Okay, our hardware is safe, our keyboard is updated, and now it's time for the last step where it gets really fun. We're going to completely replace the stock MM Basic interpreter with an open source firmware I created called PicoWare. Now, PicoWare turns the PicoCalc from just a calculator into a real pocket computer. It adds a graphical user interface, a file manager, built-in apps and games, and it has great support for programming in MicroPython, Arduino IDE, and the official C and C++ SDK. Now, if you have a PicoW module, you can also use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This is how you really unlock what this device can do. Now for this, you'll need that micro USB cable we talked about earlier, and we'll be using the micro USB port on the Raspberry Pi Pico itself, not the USB-C port we just use. That's because now we're talking to the main Raspberry Pi Pico, not the keyboard controller. You also need the PicoWare firmware file from my GitHub, which you get from builds, MicroPython, and download the UF2 variant for your specific Raspberry Pi Pico. So if you have a Pico 2W inside, you use the Pico 2W variant. If you just have the Pico that ships with your Pico Calc, you use the Pico variant and so on and so forth. The whole process is really simple. First, make sure your PicoCalc is turned off, unplugged, 
then turn it to the back. Okay, now we have to put the Raspberry Pi Pico into bootloader mode. Look at the back of your Pico Calc. You can see a tiny white button on the Raspberry Pi Pico module right through the vents of the original case. This is a custom case by the user N602, which completely exposes the Pico. That white button is the boot select button. We're going to press and hold down that button. And while we're doing it, plug in the micro USB cable into your computer and then into the micro USB port. As soon as you see a new device on your computer, you can let go of that button. Your computer should automatically recognize the PicoCalc as a new USB drive, most likely called RPI-RP2 if you're using a Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W, and RP2350 if you're using a Pico 2 or Pico 2 W. Now, this is the easiest part of the whole guide. Just find that UF2 file you downloaded and drag and drop it into the drive. The file will copy and as soon as it's finished, the PicoCalc will automatically eject itself from your computer and reboot. And that's it, you're now running PicoWare. You'll see a desktop, a menu, and a whole new world of new possibilities open up. You can look through your files, try out the preloaded apps, or even start coding your own stuff right on the device. And there you go, your PicoCalc is now set up and ready to go. We've secured the screen with the tape trick, updated the keyboard firmware for better stability, and flash the awesome PicoWare to unlock its real potential. You've tackled the three most important first steps and avoided the biggest traps for new owners. Your device is now a solid, up-to-date, and more powerful base for whatever you want to do with it. Now, if this guide helped you out, and maybe saved you from a future headache, definitely do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Now that your Pico Calc is all set up, the real fun can start. I have a few videos on my channel showing you the best apps and games to get started with on PicoWare, from useful tools to some fun retro classics. I'm Jay Blanks. thanks for watching. Peace.